to go ahead and start. Yeah, you can go ahead. <laughs> well, hi there. Thank you so much for having us here. Um, my name is Mackenzie Contini. I am the branch manager of Downtown New Philly Chase Branch. And um, this is, my name's Lorraine. Um, I'm also a branch manager at Chase Bank at the Dover Main office. And I, I've been at the branch uh, with Chase for 13 years. Um, this is probably the first year that we are able to go out and educate um, our clients. And also, now we're going to be doing schools as well. So it's something both of us are extremely excited to do. Yeah. Extremely passionate about as well because, you know, it gives us the opportunity to not only educate clients, but just the community as well. And just kind of put Chase's name out there because not everybody knows like what Chase has to offer, especially with um, budgeting life habits, that sort of thing. So um, I've been with a firm for 12 years, so you have a lot of longevity here with between the two of us. Um, so thank you guys for coming and kind of listening to us today and um, letting us kind of be here and just educate you on how to, you know, save through student life. So um, one of the things, we have a couple flyers. I'm going to pass these out. That way you guys can kind of follow along. There's two pages. Yes, let's get some pens. I didn't know anybody had one here. Do you want me to see you? All right. Absolutely. And uh, first and foremost, you know, one of the questions that we always open up with is, um, you know, how many people do banking yeah, now? And like, what questions do you have about banking currently? Since you're the only one, I'm going to rely on you. Okay. <laughs> so, do you have a bank account right now? Uh, yes, um, technically I'm with uh, Park National Bank, but I moved out here two years ago to attend school. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, it, working part time in school and, and balancing, living on my own and balancing yeah. everything. It's, so it's, this is perfect for you because yeah. we're, we're here to educate you on how to you know budget that money that's coming in, especially when you have multiple things going on, and maybe some easy ways that you can you know start saving, putting some money back for you know, the rainy day, or if you have something you're specifically saving for, you know, if it's, um, you know, something for your apartment or something for school or, you know, a new vehicle, um, we have some ways to help educate yourself and kind of prioritize your spending. So, uh, on that first page, it just lets you kind of calculate your spending, um, see what your, you know, priorities are that you have um, going on in your life right now. Um, and setting up like a firm cap on like what you want to do, like entertainment-wise expenses, um, subscriptions, things like that, just kind of taking a, a deep dive into how you're doing your monthly spending. Um, that second page behind it is actually our monthly budget builder, which is also on our website. So you do not have to be um, a Chase client to go on and look at that and kind of um, put a scenario in there just to kind of see what you are spending your, um, your money on and different ways that you could be spending. Do you have any questions right now? Does anybody have any questions at this point? Okay. Um, so basically what we'll be going over um, is, you know, questions that all of us, you know, basically keep us up at nighttime is how to save and what we can save for. Um, so basically what financial goals do you have? Um, you know, saving for spring, break, um, setting a horn. Um, do you budget? Do you often find yourself short on cash? If you currently budget your finances, how do you budget today? How often do the budget and review expenses and what tools do you use to help uh, the budgets? So basically, you know, those are questions that you know everybody asks themselves because we always want to make sure that we're budgeting and we have enough funds to have our everyday uh, emergency fund. Um, so, um, like Mackenzie said with the budget builder, this is such a phenomenal tool that you guys can utilize to um, basically add to know if you have loans, um, it's for work study or for your job, um, for your family, um, basic tuition and books, housing, food meal plan, um, getting around um, for transportation. I mean, those are all things that you know everyone will need to consider and making sure that we're budgeting for. Um, you know, obviously, no matter I feel like how old you are, we have bills, <laughs> and especially cell phone bills, something that's extremely expensive that we want to make sure that you are setting the um, funds aside and are able to do that as well. Um, club dues, eating, groceries, snacks, eating out, you know, having fun. We always want to make sure you have that emergency um, set aside because, of course, you know, we all want to have fun. So we want to make sure you have the expense for that as well. Um, and then, you know, basically everything else, you know, just taking care of yourself. 
um, clothes and whatever it is that you really need to make sure you have the funds um, for you to be able to do more. And um, like Mackenzie said, this tool is a great tool, whether you're a customer or not, to really utilize. Um, I know in myself, I use it for everything. I'm very strict on making sure I have my funds set aside for every category that you would basically need within your life. So it's a great tool that anyone can really utilize. Um, and getting back to some of the other tools that we have on Chase.com, so we have um, something called Auto Save. So you can kind of customize it to yourself how much you, want, you might want to take out of a check or how much cash you want to put over. If it's a dollar a day, like that's kind of one of the campaigns that we're working on right now is if you save a dollar a day, obviously you've got $365, 366 this year um, at the end of the year that you might not have had prior. And thinking about, you know, what did that dollar go towards last month or maybe last week that we're not using it for this week? Was it, you know, something quick from McDonald's? Was it a cup of coffee? Was it, you know, something that you didn't need but you had that urge to spend it on? Now we're saving that dollar a day, so at the end of the year you can have 365 bucks. Which, if you think about it, it's not a lot, but it, it does add up over time. And think about it if you um, were diligent enough to make that $1, $5. So what is the difference of what you're spending this week, last week, yesterday, and just kind of moving forward and help budgeting yourself. Um, the nice thing with the auto save option too is again, it, it allows you to either customize an amount or a percent. So kind of out of sight, out of mind, that if you don't see the money going in, um, you're not going to miss it as much because it's going into just this little platform that you have as a rainy day fund, emergency fund, um, vacation fund, whatever you want to name it, you can. Um, so that's something unique that we're doing as well. Um, any questions right now from anybody from the panel? <laughs> no? Okay. Um, so one of the things that Lorraine and I are passionate about too is just making sure uh, not only students are educated but obviously everyone because everybody, as you said before, you know, is budgeting or wants to you know make their money work for them more than we than we do today. Um, you're not alone. Um, so one of the things that we're really passionate about though is just ed educating students because at the end of the day, you are the future, and um, if we're helping educate you now. You can make better choices in your future if you start start now. You know, I wish someone maybe would have done this for me um, at a younger age. Um, I started working in the banking industry and kind of educated myself a little bit more to make better decisions. So, um, the younger you start, the better off you are. Like you know, people are already talking about retirement or what they want to do going forward. So you might not know what you want to concretely do for your future, but now you have a little bit more of a background of how you can plan better. So we hope that it was helpful for sure. What do you think is the most important thing that students can do right now to help save for the future? So, establish a savings account. So, you know, we have our student checking accounts, but just establishing that savings account gives yourself a little bit of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking accountability to, like, put money in there. You know, some students don't even have a savings account at this point. Um, I know things like books and entertainment are kind of a bigger priority and they want their money to go entertainment wise, but helping educate them on, you know, things to look for for the bigger picture and the long term, just establishing that savings account first and foremost is really important. And I think a lot of reasons why they might not want to is they're, you know, afraid of fees, like what kind of fees going to be associated with that. And there's, you know, multiple ways to waive those just by, you know, helping them save and set up a, the auto save piece that would help waive any monthly service fees. So that's that's one of the reasons people leave banks is because of service fees. So it's our jobs to educate them on how to make sure everything is service fee free. And I think another thing is too that's really important is pulling your statement. And if you're not, if you don't have a savings account set up, but just pulling your statement on your checking account and really going through and breaking down where am I spending my money each day? And that's where it's like a shocker and it's scary because <laughs> you're like, oh my gosh, I did this and I spent this and did I really need that? It's, it's so eye-opening once you pull your statement and you really truly break down how much you're really spending and how much, you know, even just that Starbucks coffee that you're getting every morning, how much you can really save by, you know, making your own coffee or making your own tea. So really viewing your statement is so important and really going through using the budget tool and utilizing that as well to make sure that you can cut out those things and then you can have the savings and the backup plan. So 
I feel like, you know, just utilizing your statement is a huge eye-opener on how much you really can really realize how much you really can save. It's very, very easy to use your debit card rather than the cash that you have in your pocket. And now that we, you know, technology is, you know, the way of the future, you just have to, you know, pull up your cell phone and your debit card is there ready to go rather than getting the cash or actually swiping the card, you're just using your cell phone. So um, it's really easy just to kind of do those impulse buys with, you know, your phone or your card, um, but it's very convenient as well. So. That's a really great question. I've got another good one. <laughs> um, how, how would you advise a student to prepare for the time that their student loans are going to be coming out? So, what, what can you say to that? Absolutely. So, um, which is critical for everybody. Like, if they just, you know, they're not going away. They're going to be there, like, after you graduate when you start your job and that sort of thing. So, um, one of the ways that we've educated clients for, you know, families to do that is to start setting aside funds now. Like, you know, we have a lot of um, clients who start with 529 plans and that sort of thing at the very beginning, um, you know, when the child is young or that sort of thing. But if you haven't, it's, not, it's never too late. It's never too late to start saving for those student loans. Um, look into different ways that you can consolidate them, you know, kind of educate yourself on what programs are out there. Um, what extra money can be given to you, grants, those sorts of things. But when those student loans are coming due, having a plan ahead of time to just help with that, you know, significant amount that's going to be coming out later on. Um, you know, again with our auto save function, you can actually um, customize it to go towards the, that specific item. So it's really nice, and like for the educational purposes, it's never too early, it's never too late to start um, saving for those types of things. So, but just making sure that you're looking into different grants and different things that you can help consolidate this with and just kind of the interest rates that are out there too. Any other questions? No. <laughs> I feel like your wheels are turning over there. <laughs> so do you have questions or anything? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Something is. Something's turning? Yeah. That's good. We're here to help you think about stuff. Because even, um, so what, that page that you're looking at, that is what, something that's very similar um, to what we have yeah. online. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can even utilize that to really go through, like I said, your statements and see you know, where you're spending and where you can really save. Um, and just basically break down you know, how much you're spending on your cell phone, um, how much you know, tuition and books, and how much you're really spending to eat or um, you know, at home or to eat out. So it's really great to write all that down and then see where you know what the total is, and then that's when you can really break down and see how much you really can save or how much you're really spending. And it's nice to see visually, you know, it just you have that surprise of oh my gosh, I just spent all this money, but where did it really go? So that's where it's so nice to really write it down and break it down just so you can actually see how much you can save and where your money is going. And I know a lot of students have questions about like establishing their credit. Um, that's another thing that we've been really passionate on, especially around the past years. Um, we've been, you know, empowering students to build their credit and different um, tools that we have, you know, like our Chase Credit Journey. It's complimentary, and you um, basically can always see what your credit score is doing, things that help your credit health, things that don't help your credit health, putting different scenarios in there so you can obviously see what your credit score is. Um, and then being able to, you know, establish credit with a student credit card, those sorts of things. We do now reward students just on paying their bill on time, paying, you know, not going over, not um, overspending on it with a small amount, um, even in like enrolling in a paperless option or um, setting it up for auto pay, we are rewarding them for doing that. So we're giving them incentive to spend little and pay it off rather than keep those balances building. And that's kind of where students, not just students, but anybody can fall into a trap of, you know, keeping that credit card, um, that balance, building and building and building and just paying those small amounts rather than the whole balance up. So we help educate you on how to do that as well. So, and it builds your credit long run. So when you are you know, done with school and in your job and looking for a more permanent place to live, um, so you can go to that way. <laughs>